Welcome back to the Arkansas State Rebuild. Going to give a little bit of a recruiting update here, and we're starting to kind of get in there and understand who we need, what we want. Again, um, really the goal for recruiting has been three stars. Um, can we can we fill up the board three stars, and really can we not compete with anybody? That's really where we're going to find our bread and butter. We've got to find guys who um, – who have decent skills. We're not going to find anybody that's great. You know, um, I, most of you probably already know, you can kind of go in and see who's not looking at four stars based off their deal breaker, maybe playing time. Um, unfortunately, this recruiting class really has um, been difficult. So th there's no one out there. There's not even a four star I could try to compete with. So it's going to be all three stars. I think the big thing here, though, is, um, you know, it's really going to be quality over quantity. What I don't want to do is fill up a bunch of two stars and have to go in and cut people. So we're really just kind of locking in on three stars, trying to find maybe a gym here and there. But even if it's a bust um, and you get the um, the kind of kickback with the with the diamond through the line, um, that's okay. You know, I, I, dev traits I'm not really worried about. I'm really just worried right now about base skill. And then um, as we progress and hopefully build uh, the program up a little bit better in prestige, we'll have access to those recruits. And as you can see here, I mean, our grades are not even good anyway. Um, I know there's an algorithm out there that's, um, you know, hard sell, but then you, you want to, um, you know, possibly even just keep us in the house if your grades are too bad. I really don't know what that math is, so we just kind of leave that, um, and we're going to try to hard sell when we can. And just um, kind of keep chipping away. And, you know, I, I try to max out as much as we can, but, um, you know, I'm not 100% not sure there. Land and Flood is going to be our future. Um, we really want to go all in on Land and Flood. He's got a good skill set. Um, I think he can be kind of the quarterback of the future. So that's really the, the kind of one name we want to watch out for, Flood, and, and make sure we can do that. We're going to keep dumping a recruiter. Um, I don't think we need to go Tier 3 just yet. Um, we don't need to really increase the weekly hours just because we don't have a ton of hours. Um, with being a one-star school, we're kind of maxed out already. So we really want less fully scout and, um, you know, just kind of our actions to increase. So we're headed into the big house. Uh, zero expectations for this game against number two Michigan and their first drive. This is just kind of what was expected. Workhorse running back coming to kill us again. And they break 14 and a half tackles and take it down the field to take an early 7-0 lead. Now third and five. Everybody's cold. No one knows what route they're running. I'm really just trying to play conservative. The goal here is to just not lose by more than 40 and just kind of don't force anything. Try not to have any turnovers here. They go play action, bomb down field. And who is there? We're there for the interception, so we'll take those play actions. Just kind of bombs down the field again. Third and seven. Everyone's cold. We really half the time. I don't even remember what play I'm running here, but we get something across the middle, kind of a, that soft spot in t between the three defenders on on the zone. So not not too bad. You know, I think here is it just didn't see him. Um, I'm trying to hit the crossing routes. Um, and just he came out of nowhere. So. Um, also, it's um, it, it, you know, I think the home field advantage in this game this year is is amazing. Here, quarterback turns into just a, a running back at that point, um, gets down inside the five, and you know our goal line defense is um, you know not the greatest, and, and I think our our problem is is open field tackling. We've seen that last week against our loss, and we're going to see it again this week. So, But, again, crossing routes seem to be the friend. They're playing deep cover four, cover three, so we can just hit the underneath, don't get aggressive, just take what they give us, just keep working down the field. Here, you know, again, I, I probably had a couple reads. Now, I, I go back and I look. That was not outside the pocket. He very much looked like he was inside there. So a bit frustrating. I'm trying to be conservative, and I get punished. But Rainer Blake breaks a tackle, hits the guy, Jackson, in the breadbasket. I mean, he sometimes makes some throws where I'm like, all right, I can work with this QB. And then he makes some other throws that are just question marks, head scratches. So I think he, you know, he's young. He's going to be able to develop here. But again, Planet soft cover two, and who is there? Wilkins to 
hit the pick. So it is 14-7. We are only three minutes left in the second quarter, so we're competing. We run a little fake pitch, and again, kind of that deep corner route hits him again. Great diving catch. We'll take it. And it's first and goal with 2.46 to go. Can we tie it up here? And again, run in motion, get him out in space, and we're going to walk in 14-14. to Watch out. Upset alert. Can we absolutely shock the world? And here again, you know, making open field tackles now. Is this the momentum we need? 145 to go. Can we stop him before half and uh, move in with some momentum? Here, I mean, you just you can't do that. Mahoney is the guy. He has got the speed, takes it down inside the 40-yard line, and we are with, I mean, no one thought we would be here. Even after we first started, we didn't think we would be here. We break a tackle, spin move, takes his ankles. I'll send you a receipt later for that. And we are just, uh, where was this last week? Uh, this team is playing out of their mind. We are peaking. And again here, double coverage, drops it in the bread basket. Raynor with another one of those throws where I'm just like, where's this been? I, I can do this all day. So, again, here, third and goal, I do not want to force it, don't want to turn over. Really a kind of aggressive throw there. Getting a little greedy with the crossing routes. Um, but we'll take the three. If you would have told me at the start of this game, hey, you're going to be up 17-14 to 14 going into the second half, I would have been like, yeah, right, who, you know, what happened? So we get the ball to start the second half. We've got momentum. We get the nice screen play to, to get some speed here. I I made a terrible read here. They should have just left that to the read option. I got kind of greedy with the the screen there, and they're going to make us pay, break a couple tackles and score. So 21-17, we're still in this. Um, you know, again, they're playing those deep zones. They're giving us the underneath. Our players are making plays, breaking tackles, getting a little extra. So just got to keep taking what they give us. Don't get greedy. Again, Diving catches. We are giving it everything we got here. So running a little motion with a couple wheel routes, little verticals. And again, busted coverage. So this play seems to be a little broken. Now with our plays being on a timer alert, that makes it a little bit more difficult. But uh, listen, I can't, I can't even begin to explain 24 21. Third and seven now. Our defense has kind of got him in into a tough situation. If we can get a stop here, go up a couple scores, that would be huge. And here they just had everybody open. Um, I, I really am starting to see the awareness problems with the zone reads and reacting to the ball. So second and four here. Two minutes to go left in the third quarter, and they could have drove a bus through that hole. I just – those are the ones that are painful. You know, make them earn it. Here, my defense is confused. We don't know who's lining up where. And we get the sack. So, second and 17. Now, third and 16. Just then don't break. Make them kick a field goal. Just don't give up anything stupid here. They run a screen play. He jukes one guy, spins another. We eventually get him out fourth and seven. So, this left hash sometimes creates problems. Not for the Michigan kicker. So, but, hey. That's a win. We held them. Ben don't break. 24-24 with 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. I, I just can't believe it. Again, cross wide open in space. He broke ankles earlier. He's going to take two more there. And we are headed to the fourth quarter tied with number two, Michigan. So, again, trying to play a little more conservative here. Cross with another 12 to 14-yard run. And 438 to go. I'm just – it's that weird trying to milk clock, but want to take advantage, go into a read option, throw into the outside, and gets the first down. Raynor makes an absolute great pass with pressure directly in his face. So first and ten now. Can we capitalize? We've got a score here. Before the first half, we didn't. Uh, we go double play action here. Someone right in our face, and we're going to take a sack. So uh, i got to be a little bit more smarter about the – the uh, play action because it just started to kill us. But again, that little motion wheel route. And Jackson comes up with his second touchdown of the game. 31-24. We are leading number two Michigan with under four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Can defense comes up third down and we get burned. I was playing soft coverage 
and for some reason that safety sucked up to the crossing route, leaving the over the top wide open. And and it's just frustrating. We've got to have a situation where you just you got to make them earn it. You can't give them big plays, but we're coming back out. We are on fire, and we are going to drive down and see if we can uh, take the lead back again. So three minutes to go here. Falling in love with the crossing routes again. Hits a guy on spot. And they call this a fumble. I, 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 again, live reaction. Controller goes traveling across the room. How he maintained possession with this, uh, just a terrible call. Someone called down and said, hey, we cannot allow Arkansas State to beat Michigan. So we got to do something here. So I'm challenging this. Zero chance he had possession. Did not make a football move. Th- nothing. I mean, the ball, he caught it, hit, ball out. That's not a fumble. The challenges on this game are hot garbage. This was challenging whether or not he was down before the ball came out, not whether or not he caught the ball. So we lose the challenge. So we lose a timeout. They get the ball in their territory. And now I am just frustrated. Here, my safeties are swapping sides. They shouldn't be swapping. They're now breaking tackles. So I'm losing momentum. So third and nine, two minutes to go. Can we get a stop here? They run a four verticals, and the safety comes up. Thomas with a huge interception. So now, can we get here? Two minutes and five seconds. 130 now. Third and three. Can we get the first down? We run another crossing route, and he drops it. So fourth and three now. Do you go for it, right? I mean, we got really nothing to lose. I'm going to go hard count here. Watch the left tackle. Tell me the refs are not ba- – Did the defender jumps off sides, and I'm pumped. I'm like, we got him, and he comes out with the false start symbol. I could not believe it. The refs blew it twice. So I decided to punt the ball try to play defense of course they go down and score the zebras are against us we've lost all momentum it just ripped out of our chest second and 10 now uh he's open b was open Uh, if i just would have tapped it thrown over the top we would have been good and now the pressure's coming through they're all on fire i'm cold we're now going to get a safety so i just one of i would almost rather lose by 40 than get screwed over on a fumble call get screwed over on an offsides call. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, whatever, make up excuses. I, it's never – I know it's a it's a game, but I cannot believe that they allowed the refs just to, to steal that game. So we couldn't stop the run, 17 yards, 181 rush yards, two touchdowns. But I, I think this is the momentum we can take into the rest of the season. We've played better. Um, defense is going to be – a problem with us going forward, but we, we're starting to figure some things out on offense. We got to stop turning the ball over, and again, we got to run the ball better. So, I, I appreciate everybody watching. I think this is the momentum we need. Um, and next week we'll play Iowa State, and uh, we'll we'll see you then.